Hello guys, this is Nick from TS Pro. This is our last video of the series where we have been talking about the abrasive materials. And this time this is going to be about diamonds on the organic binder. If you haven't seen our previous episodes on these subjects for some reasons, here is the link above. I really recommend you watching them. So today we're going to be talking about what the diamond grain is, how it is manufactured, uh, its concentration in the sharpening stones, and we will touch upon types of binders, pros and cons of application, and more. Let's finally get started. As you probably know, the diamonds we have in our stones are not the same as gemstone. We call it technical or industrial diamonds. However, being made synthetically from the same carbon as natural, they have absolutely the same abrasive properties. Same crystal lattice, density and hardness. And this is what we have to pay our attention to. The only difference can be in grain shape, surface quality, strength, and in some cases, it can be even more durable than natural ones. One of the most used technology to create synthetic diamonds is the high pressure, high temperature method which consists in the process of growing diamond single crystals at high temperature and high pressure. A hydraulic press compresses a container containing a metal melt in graphite. One or more seeds are placed on a substrate, small diamond crystals. An electric current flows through the chamber, heating the melt to the desired temperature. Under these conditions, the metal serves as a solvent and catalyst for the crystallization of carbon on a seed in the form of a diamond. The process of growing one large or several smaller crystals lasts on average 12 to 30 days. As a result, we get diamonds, which is the hardest mineral according to the more hardener scale, leaving behind stones on silicon carbide or aluminum oxide. As you may know, the VAP system is not applied to diamond stones. But how to determine the abrasion of them? But unfortunately, in this case, there is no unified system, because every manufacturer has its own. However, there is a few well-known measurement systems like GIS, GOS, or GRID in the United States, which can be easily converted. And also now, many manufacturers have started denoting GRID size in different measurement systems. For example, Vinov or Poltava diamond stones use GOS standard, which denotes GRID size in microns. The courses define a size, grains in the powder sample, for example, 160, 125. On the contrary, US standard, which is also known as grid, denotes grid size in meshes per inch. Consequently, the less meshes are in inch, the coarser is the grid size. Diamond concentration is one of the key indexes of how quickly and cleanly stone works. The higher the grid content, the faster diamond bar works, most often used on more coarse stones. And oppositely, the lower the grid content, the less metal is removed and, in most cases, it is applied for finishing stones. The unit of weight of a diamond is the carat. One carat is equal to 0.2 grams. Standard diamond bars have a relative concentration of 25%, 50%, 75% and 100% diamond powder. 100% grain concentration means that the bar contains 25% diamond powder. Like many other stones, diamond stones consist of the abrasive grains, uh, binder and uh, in some cases it also may contain filler. Binder is a substance that connects the abrasive grain within. The cleanness of work, efficiency and durability of the sharpening bar depends on this binder. Filler form the physical, chemical and mechanical properties of the diamond containing layer. Its strength, wear to temperature changes, wear resistance and grain consumption rate and so on. Moreover, they serve as a good base uh, for diamonds and reliably hold them in the stone body. There are three main types of bonds for a diamond stone. Galvanic. We've talked about this one in our previous episode. But briefly speaking, this works really fast. It's good for roughing work, but it has a short working life and not really good for finishing. It doesn't require opening before first-time usage and flattening. Metallic or copper tin bond. A great example here is copper tin bond of Vinov diamonds. It is a hard bond with a high metal removal rate. The most long-lasting stones ever. It retains the sharpness of grain for a long time and has high wear resistance. With tense high thermal loads, does not require the use of water, but it can be also used with oil. 
and it is slowly salted. Very good for roughing works and finishing. Organic. The main advantage of an organic binder over a metallic one is that it has a more viscous structure, which means that it is easier to process. For example, manually when leveling and opening with silicon carbide powder. The main advantage of an organic binder over a galvanic one is that the diamond is applied not in a thin layer on the surface of the bond, but it is located throughout its entire thickness. Also, an organic bond has greater plasticity and viscosity, which means that a diamond on a such bond crumbles less than on a galvanized one. And as a result, a diamond bar on an organic bond lasts much longer. This is the bond with high wear resistance. For example, this type of stone can be well used for uh, kitchen knives and steels which are prone to chipping. In all other cases, metallic bond can be used. As for particular types of metallic or organic bonds, there is plenty of them. And once again, every manufacturer uses different technologies. So, and it's difficult to uh, make a unified classification. Uh, so let it be a subject for another video. Diamond on the organic binder is an almost perfect abrasive, able to effectively cope with any steels above 58 HRC, work effectively and quickly. They don't pollute the workspace too much, because we used dry and in some cases with oil, depending on the bond. Very wear resistant stones and they are slowly salted. Of course, they work well with any steels, however, I would not recommend using them with soft steels under 58 HRC because uh, the grains are broken out from the bonds and quickly salted. Diamonds are considered as premium stones and price is respectively higher compared with other stones on the market. But consequently, you get the best results with them and they serve longer. Basically, with diamonds, you can cover all scopes of your knives. Thank you for watching, guys. If this review was helpful to you, give it a like below and of course subscribe to our channel to never miss more upcoming videos. Take care and stay sharp.